Ya viti kwa maana hapa pana magari hamsini pikipiki 517 vifaa pamoja na vifaa tiba Na mtaratibu kabisa msafara mheshimiwa rais wa jamhuri ya muungano wa Tanzania mheshimiwa Samia Suluh Hassan ndio unawasili hivi sasa Na viongozi wako tayari kwa ajili ya itifaki ya mapokezi akiongozwa na mkuu wa mkoa wa Dodoma mheshimiwa Rosemary Senyamule Waziri wa nchi ofisi ya rais Tamisemi Mheshimiwa Innocent Bashungwa Waziri wa afya wa serikali ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar Mheshimiwa Nasoro Marzui bila kusahau Profesa Riziki Shemdoe katibu mkuu wa Tamisemi Nam Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania Mheshimiwa Samia Sulu Hassan anateremka sasa na anasalimiana na viongozi ambao wanaongoza itifaki ya mapokezi kama nilivyosema waziri wa afya wa Zanzibar waziri wa nchi ofisi ya rais Tamisemi na sasa ameshawasili katika eneo hili Mheshimiwa Rais karibu katika hafla hii ya utiaji saini mikataba ya ufuatiliaji wa shughuli za lishe nchini lakini kwa kuanza Mheshimiwa Rais utaanza na tukio hili la uzinduzi wa magari mbili pikipiki 517 pamoja na vifaa na vifaa tiba labda tuanze kukata anza maelezo mheshimiwa waziri tafadhali mheshimiwa waziri karibu mheshimiwa Samia Suluh Hassan rais wa jamhuri ya muungano wa Tanzania nitumie nafasi hii mheshimiwa rais kukaribisha kwenye ofisi yako ya Tamisemi ambayo litukabidhi tuisimamie mheshimiwa rais e, mbele yako tunayo magari mbili kati ya magari miambili ambayo ulikuwa tayari magari 52 pikipiki 517 pamoja na vifaa tiba ambayo haijafanya vizuri kwenye sile indicators 
kuhakikishe. Ah na tatu mheshimiwa rais kwanza tuna swala la lishe shule shule. Tunakushukuru sana mwaka jana tuli launch ile guideline ya school feeding na hongera sana tarehe 15 mwezi wa tisa mwaka huu Tanzania imejiunga na school meals coalition. Ni hatua kubwa sana tumepita. Lakini sasa tunakwenda wapi kutoka kwenye guideline na kujiunga kwenye school meals coalition. Tunashirikiana na serikali na tuko tayari kufanya kazi na serikali. Kuona sasa tunakwenda kwenye action. Kusaini tumesaini lakini sasa tunataka kuona yale matokeo kwamba mtoto apate chakula shule kwa sababu tunajua tupo tupo aliwezi kujifunza ni haya matatu mheshimiwa rais na sisi tuko tayari kufanya kazi na serikali kwenye maeneo yote haya asante sana so it's a repeat for me this again and you you are your mheshimiwa rais you are your rais for feeling hard asante sana asante sana mheshimiwa rais asante sana Your Excellency, thank you for visiting. My name is Vesta Mahozi. I'm the country director for Save Children in Tanzania. Um, the project is the NGO led uh, nutrition program called Nisha and the Level, and uh, we are working in four regions. and. Uh, one of the main areas is uh, uh, is coordinating nutrition in a multi-sectoral way. You will be talking about the compact scorecard, and you can see in the regions that we're working in, the from 2018 to 2021, there's been remarkable improvements in, uh, in the compact and the scorecards in those regions that we are supporting. And that's because of the good working relationship between um, the local authorities, uh, central government, Ministry of Health, as well as uh, the NGOs uh, that are implementing this program. One of the other impressive things that we have done is we've worked with government to develop guidelines, uh, set guidelines both for Ministry of Health as well as Ministry of Agriculture. The guidelines are around uh, encouraging how to train uh, government officials, extension workers on delivering uh, training to households so that they can uh, be farming nutritious crops at home. You see at the end there some of the work uh, that the communities are able to do. They are now able to rear chickens. Uh, we have rabbits there. We also have uh, fish farming that we've been promoting and it has been uh, very well received among the community. All this is to aim is to improve the nutrition status of our under five children, uh, mothers, pregnant, lactating mothers and adolescents. And uh, this is the, we're in the fourth year of the five-year program, and the results can already be seen now on the ground, both in the compact indicators, but also the nutrition status of children in the communities. Thank you very much, Esther. So how many more regions can you accommodate? For this uh, five years, it's this one. Yeah. For, this, for this cycle of five years. How many years, more can you accommodate? There's a new program coming in, which will also reach to a few more uh, regions. Two extra more. Two extra more. Yes. Can, you better, uh, can you do better than that? Uh, with uh, help from other donors, I'm sure it can be possible. Yeah. Another four, yeah. Yes. Another four. Thank you. <laughs> sure. No, and I'll keep we'll on following. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lakini tukatumia vya kula vinafiyo katika na katika hiyo eneo 
na kutengeneza vizuri kumlisha kwa muda unaotakiwa huyu mtoto sasa hivi alitoka kwenye hali mbaya sasa hivi yuko kwenye hali nzuri na mama yuko hapa yeye ni shuhuda anaweza kueleza kitotokea kwa huyu mtoto na watoto wengine wengi ambao wako kwenye mashauri kwa kweli alisao zimeboreka kutokana na huo mradi na tutaendelea kwa kweli kushirikiana na serikali katika kutekeleza miradi kuweza kuimarisha nishe za watoto ndani ya miaka 25 nilikuwa mgafu nimefanya katika kwenye umra ya miaka yako 25 ndani ya mradi sawa kwa uh, hii project ilikuwa inafanya mikoa mingapi sawa tulianza na afya miradi ya afya ambayo imeenda kwa takriban ya mashauri zaidi ya 150 mambo masuala ya macho ambayo mimi sio sikutekeleza lakini wenzangu waliotekeleza wanajua sisi zifanyika kwa masuala ya macho lakini mimi niko kwa upande wa lishe kwa upande wa lishe tulianza katika mikoa ya kanda ya ziwa mikoa mitano ya kanda ya ziwa ambapo kulikuwa na tatizo kubwa la udumavu na katika muda wa miaka mitano tulibahatika kupunguza udumavu katika mikoa minne kati ya hiyo mitano lakini huu anjombe sasa tumepata ufadhili wa UNICEF ambao ulikuwa ni wa mwaka mmoja Mheshimiwa Rais kama unavyojua katika mwaka mmoja huwezi ukatenda mengi lakini yale tuliyoyafanya tunajaribu kuyaangika uzoefu tuliyopata na mafanikio tuliyopata ili yaweze kusaidia tunapoenda katika mikoa mingine ndio na hivi ni vyakula vinavyopatikana katika mkoa wa Njombe tunaweza kuleta vyote lakini kwa kutumia vyakula hivyo hivyo vinavyopatikana kwenye jamii Licha za watoto zinaimarika na tunaimiza kina mama wafanye hivyo e wabadili tabia za ushaji wa watoto na ukuzaji wa watoto kwa ujumla. Asante sana. Mheshimiwa Rais. Mheshimiwa Rais. Sanku, kamjambo. Tucheri cha mkoa wa Mbeya. Mheshimiwa Rais, kikarisa na kabanda yetu la mkoa wa Mbeya. Kwanza kabisa uwepo wa na uwepo CRS ambaye Catholic Relief Center na kutokana na programu mbalimbali za kidijitali ambazo tunatumia zaidi kuingiza kwenye mifumo na kukabiliana na utafiti wa mlo tumefanikiwa kupunguza udumavu na utafiti wa mlo kwa asilimia 33.8 mpaka 22.9 kwa hiyo hawa dao tunashirikiana nao naomba nitajiste sana ili waweze kuweza kidogo kumtumai naomba kumtumai katibu <tos>
pale unachoona mheshimiwa rais hii major stroll hapa kuna kuwa na dawa na vifaa vyote vya dharura kwa hiyo mgonjwa popote pale alipo tunaisukuma tu tunamfuata na hapa unachoona mheshimiwa rais hii inaitwa suction machine kuna wakati mtu anakata tatizo nje ya hewa inaziba labda kuna mate yamejaa au vitu vingine kwa hiyo tunatumia hii kumvuta ili nje yake iweze kufunguka aweze kupumua vizuri hapa hii ni bed size locker wa wote walio lazo badala ya kutumia zile za mbao ambazo usafishaji wake kidogo ni rahisi kwa hiyo hizi ni za plastiki una una una, una, una tu vizuri na hivi ni mashine za kupimia uh, aji ya ndogo lakini pia hii ni syringe pump tunasaidia ku, 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 kujaza vitu kwenye hizo syringe hapa mheshimiwa rais ni mashine ya atra sound ni mashine ya atra sound kwa hiyo tunaitumia pia kwenye huduma zetu hizo za dharura lakini pia inaweza kaenda ulini kutulika kwa malo, kwa kazi nyingine inatembea kwa hiyo sababu inatembea inaweza kaenda popote mheshimiwa rais hii ni oxygen concentrator kuna wakati mgonjwa anahitaji oxygen nyingi kwa wakati mmoja kwa hiyo unamwelekea hii mashine anaweza kupata hewa nyingi kwa wakati kwa wakati mmoja na hizi ni mashine nyingine ambazo zinaendelea na hii ni mashine ya kutoa dawa ya usingizi kwa hiyo mgonjwa anawekewa dawa ya usingizi kitu tulichozingatia kikubwa mheshimiwa rais kwenye hii mashine tumechukua mashine ambazo zinaweza kutumika maeneo ya pembezoni sio lazima umeme muda wote hii inaweza hata umeme ukatika au kama hamna ikatumika kwa kutumia kwa kutumia battery ikafanya kazi masaa sita hata umeme ukikatika kwa hiyo uwezekano wa mgonjwa kupata madhara unakuwa haupo na hii ni, ni, ni mashine yake ya, ya 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 upumuaji na mashine nyingine unazoziona kwa mheshimiwa rais zinapima hormones mbalimbali zinapima uh, viashiria vya saratani lakini hii inatakasa vifuatiba na hii ni mobile x-ray mheshimiwa rais hii itatumika sana ICU mgonjwa wa ICU kumtoa kumpeleka akapiga x-ray wakati mwingine haiwezekani kwa hiyo hii inatembea inaweza kumfuata mgonjwa mahali popote na hivi ni vifaa vingine vya masikio ko kupima damu lakini kupima uh, kuweka kuweka joto kwenye maji au damu kabla mgonjwa hajamkeo kwa vifaa ni vingi mheshimiwa rais lakini hivi tumekuja tu kama uwakilishi wa vifaa vingine ambavyo vitasambazwa kwenye halmashauri zetu asante mheshimiwa rais maanisha kule kwenye hall uelezee vifaa vyote alafu tumbie ndege yake vingapi na vinakwenda wapi na wapi utatoa hiyo taarifa kwenye hall haya ipate bado iko kwenye kumaliziwa ambapo tunataka kuja kusikia na kuzitengenezwa locally ili zisambaze kwa wasindikaji wadogo wa viwanda vidogo vidogo kwa ajili kwa kishwa mashule pamoja na walaji wale wadogo wanaweza kupata vyakula vipi ongeza virutubishi asante mheshimiwa rais sema huko mkoa mitano wapi na kwa sasa kwa huu mradi tuko tuko Iringa tuko Kilimanjaro tuko Manyara tuko Mara pamoja na Kagera na hizi mashine ndio zitakapokwenda ndio 